Hello viewers, my name is Bina. Today I am going to prepare a very nice Kerala chicken curry with roasted coconut paste. So let's get started. For this we need chicken 1 kg, 2 sliced onions, chopped tomato 1 small sized, crushed garlic 8 cloves, crushed green chilies 2, ginger 1 medium sized. For marination we need half teaspoon of turmeric powder, chilli powder 1 teaspoon, kashmiri chilli powder 2 teaspoons, pepper powder 1 teaspoon, salt as per taste. First we need to marinate the chicken pieces with turmeric powder and salt. Now I am going to dry roast the masala, add chilli powder, pepper powder, kashmiri chilli powder, dry roast the masala in low flame, do not burn it, add the masala into the chicken pieces, now we can add all the vegetables also. Mix it well. Keep the marination for 15 minutes. For making coconut paste, we need 1 cup of freshly grated coconut, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, Kashmiri chilli powder 1 teaspoon, coriander powder 2 tablespoons, cumin seeds 1 teaspoon, coconut oil 3 tablespoons, small onions 6 pieces, garlic cloves 3, curry leaves. Heat oil in a pan, add all the ingredients for frying. Keep stirring this. Roast it until its color changes into golden brown. Now we can add the masala. Turmeric powder. Sort it to get rid of the raw taste. Coriander powder. Fry this, chilli powder, roast everything together, transfer this into a plate and let it cool down. Later we need to grind it to make a fine paste. Take a kadai, add the marinated chicken pieces into this, pour half cup of water. Cook it for almost 10 minutes in medium flame. Coconut paste is ready here. I have added 3 4 cup of water and made a thick paste. Add the grounded coconut paste and enough water for the gravy. I am adding little more water. Add enough salt for the curry. Mix it well. Let the curry boil very well. Now we need to add the garam masala. For making this, we need 1 bay leaf, cinnamon stick 4 small pieces, fennel seeds 1 tablespoon, cardamom 4, cloves 4. Dry roast everything together. Once it cools down, grind it and make a fine powder. 
add 1 tablespoon of freshly ground garam masala. Mix it well. Let it boil some more time. If you want, you can fry some onions and uh, pour it over the curry for seasoning at this time. Sprinkle some coriander leaves. The curry is ready. This curry will be a perfect combination for ghee rice, chapati and even plain rice also. If you find my videos helpful, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.